Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. If you caught my first video on the brand new On 4K Plus streaming device from Walmart, you'll remember I mentioned a giveaway, where I'm giving away one every month for the rest of the year. Stay tuned to find out how to enter and the date of the first drawing. But today's video is all about remapping the buttons on that remote. In that first video, I briefly touched on the customizable star button up at the top. You can assign it to open up any app on your device. But that's just the beginning. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the function of almost all the buttons, especially those four app shortcut buttons, the YouTube, the Netflix, the Disney Plus, and the Paramount Plus. Let's face it, if we're trying to save money on our cable bill or maybe cancel it altogether, buying all four of those subscriptions probably won't help much. Then there's that big blue free TV button in the middle of the remote. It might be useful to some, but for most people it just gets in the way and it's way too easy to press by accident. So I'll show you how to remap that one too, whether you wanted to open up your favorite third party app, bring up a custom launcher, or do nothing at all, disable it entirely. I've got you covered. So if you're ready to check all the boxes and push all the right buttons, grab your remotes and let's go. Again, we are on the brand new on 4K Plus streaming device from Walmart. However, the procedure I'm gonna show you today will work on any Google TV device, any Android TV device. It will not work on the Amazon Fire Sticks. Amazon did away with that functionality a while back. So you're kind of stuck with those buttons if you have a Fire Stick. Perhaps one more reason why everybody's running to, you know, the on devices from Walmart. So there is a single app that you need to get and it's available in the Google Play Store. So if you go over to apps and then you just scroll down to where it says search for apps and games. Now you can use the voice assistant button on the remote or you can just type it in. I'm going to go ahead and type it in here. So in the search for apps and games thing, I'm going to search for the app called TV Quick Actions. And I think all you need to do is just type in TV quick with no spaces and it will pop up. You don't need to type in the whole thing. So just TV quick. Results for TV quick. There you go. So as you can see, it uh, there's two options here. There's TV quick actions and then there's TV quick actions pro. The quick actions version is a free app, completely free, but it does show you some ads occasionally when you're in the interface. It's not going to really take any time at all. So, and that's the only time that you'll see those ads pop up. So, you know, we're going to go with this click TV quick actions and let that install. Before we move on, I do want to point out IP Vanish is running an 83% off discount right now. Whenever you're using third party or unofficial apps, I strongly recommend using a VPN to keep your electronic fingerprint, also known as your IP address, secure and anonymous. At this price right now, they're offering, it comes out to something like seven cents a day if you choose this option uh, for the two years. Um, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. If you don't like it or if it doesn't work, doesn't do what you what, what it should do, you can just go ahead and return it and get all your money back, no problem at all. If you do decide to give IPVanish a try, I would really appreciate you clicking on the link below in the description. It will get you the lowest price for the fastest VPN available. And it also does help in a small way to support the Cord Cutters LI channel. So with that being said, let's get back to the tutorial. So that installed really quickly. So just let's go ahead and click open and we'll open it right up. You'll see this is what you'll see when you first um, open the app. It explains all sorts of things, you know, in here. We're just going to go ahead and click continue through all of these. You can read these if you want to. Um, we don't need to. You can pick not now for this to show the overlay on this screen. We don't need that. And we can also say not now for display battery optimization. And now it says that you need to start the accessibility service for this function to work. And that is true. We will need to do that. So if you go down to where it says agree, you click on that, it's going to automatically bring you out to the settings. And from settings, you want to move down to where it says accessibility. And then you want to move all the way down at the bottom. You'll see one here that says TV quick actions and click on that. Change that to enable and click OK. And now we hit configuration and that will bring us right back to the TV quick actions screen. Now you can do all sorts of things with this um, app, this free app from the Google Play Store. But what we're focusing on is the actual buttons and we're going to reprogram or remap the buttons on this remote. So let's go down to buttons and actions. Click on that. And then at the bottom, it, there's a button that says add button. 
and that's what we're gonna do. So let's focus on the pre-programmed app buttons first, meaning YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, and Paramount. Now, I think a lot of people have YouTube, pretty much everybody, hopefully you do, you're watching this video, and then I think a lot of people have Netflix, you know, for those two. So let's leave those two buttons alone, but for the Disney Plus and the Paramount Plus buttons, let's change those to a different app, shall we? So as it says here, it says press needed button. So some buttons can't remap. And for example, the home button and the volume buttons, you can't change those, which you know we don't want to. But it is asking you to press the button that you want to change. In this case, I'm going to press the Disney Plus button. It tells you that that's button nine. We want to move down to where it says button action type. And let's just change this to where it says usual action. You can play around with these settings and you try the other one and see what it does. But for this, this is what I'm going to do. And for single press, we click on that. And we're gonna have it open up any app that we want. So here's that ad that I was telling you about. And again, look, it's just a couple of seconds and we can move up there to the right and just close it. So I think you'd agree that, you know, the free app with the ads is probably not that much of a, a deal breaker for you. So let's go ahead and reprogram that Disney Plus button to open up a different app. And let's choose this one. So that will open up that application. So now let's hit the back button. We'll go back and we'll add another button. And we're going to hit add button. And now let's change the Paramount Plus button. So let's press the Paramount Plus button. It says on my device, it says it's button 10, which is cool. We're going to change that also to usual action. And then for a single press of the button, we're going to change that to a different app also. Uh, let's just, uh, we'll pick this one. Okay. So let's move back. Now, the final button I want to change is that big free TV button in the middle. And this one I want to play around with quite a bit more because this button is very easy to press by accident. We don't want it to do anything. We don't, you know, we don't want to press that button and then maybe in the middle of what we're doing, it just dumps us out of our favorite TV show or something. So let's go down to where it says add button one more time and let's press that free TV button. So this is called the featured app one button. Apparently go down to button action type you're getting used to this, right? Usual action. Now, here we're gonna do something a little differently. We're gonna, for a single press and even a double press of this big free TV button, we're gonna have it do nothing. So let's do that. Let's change this to do nothing for a single tap. And we're gonna change it to do nothing for a double tap. And a long press, now this is not something that you're gonna do by accident very often, right? So hit long press and now, Let's let's change this to open up the Projective V launcher and click that. We've reprogrammed now the Disney Plus button, the Paramount Plus button, and the free TV button. You can just go ahead and hit the home button on the remote and watch what happens. So I'm going to press the Disney Plus button right now. There you go. Back to home. I'm going to hit the Paramount Plus button right now. There you go. So now let's pretend we're hitting that free TV button by accident. Nothing. And watch, you can just hit it a bunch of times by accident. It's not doing anything, right? But let's now long press that button. And there you go. You have the Projective E launcher ready to go. The Projective E launcher is m probably my favorite custom launcher for Android and Google TV devices. I will most likely do a video on the new uh, 4K Plus streaming device as well coming up. So, you know, make sure you do subscribe. But how easy was that? And just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and restart my device right now. You know, one of the problems with some of the other devices, especially your earlier Fire Sticks, before they re completely removed the capability to remap your buttons, it would stop working after you restarted the Fire Stick. So just to show you that this is going to stay, we've it's a set it and forget it thing, kind of like that pasta maker back in the day, right? If you remember that guy's name, put a comment down below and let me know. Let you show your age like me. Remember that guy? Set it and forget it. But anyway, so now we've restarted the device. It's coming up right now. They come up pretty quickly now, don't they also? Okay, so real quick, let's press and let's press that free TV button by accident. Nope, it's not going there. We don't want it to. Now let's long press free TV. There you go. It's as simple as that. So once again, as I said at the top of the video, 
I'm going to show you now how to enter to win the drawing for a free on 4K plus streaming device from Walmart. I'm going to be giving away one of these every month for the rest of the year. And the way to do it is basically make sure, first of all, make sure you're subscribed to the Quad Cutters LI channel and then go to where it says posts. And you will see the most recent post here is basically the information about this drawing. What you'll need to do, there's already 128 people that have done this already. But if we go to the comments, you can just go ahead and enter a comment. Let me know where you're from. Unfortunately for this drawing, it's going to be US only uh, because this device, at least uh, for the time being, is they're saying only available and only functional in the US. I know there are some ways to get around that with VPN and stuff. But again, just for this giveaway, we're going to be uh, giving it away exclusively to US only. Have no fear for my UK um, audience. I'm going to definitely take care of you coming up soon. I'm thinking about something for that. And of course, if you have any suggestions about what you might want as a giveaway, uh, let me know and put some comments down below. But anyway, that's as easy as it gets. The first drawing um, for the first one I'm going to give away is going to be sometime on Thursday, June 26th. There will be a short video that's going to show me drawing the winner um, of that, uh, of the first person that's going to win one of these. And, you know, I'm looking forward to it. So good luck, everyone. <laughs> So with all that being said, if you enjoyed anything you saw here today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters LI videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my video shown to more people on YouTube, it also helps to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching.